Hi guys, we are back with another how-to drawing tutorial. So it is October, um, it is fall, it is spooky season, um, so I've gotten a couple holiday requests. Um, so I figured, why not start out with our very own slimy type skull. So I made mine kind of like graffiti style kind of quickly. Um, I colored mine in green and then he kind of has light green slime with some nasty yellow teeth. Um, so I'll show you guys how to do that outline. It can be any color you want it to be. You don't even have to color it. Um, but that is just how I made mine. So let's get out our piece of paper and our pencil. So for the eyes, schools kind of just have big kind of round eyes. Um, the cool thing about when you're making a skull or um, kind of, I think, maybe any kind of creature like that is the eyes don't actually have to be the same size. So I'm just going to do kind of like a big round kind of oval type circle in my paper. So I did that real lightly. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing pretty much next to it. And it can be a little bit bigger than the other one if you want, or you can have them be the same size. It's completely up to you. All right. So when drawing circles, I always do mine really light and kind of like go over it a few times. And then I go in and kind of erase my scribbles. But if you guys are brave and you can just do it perfectly, that's awesome too. All right, so I kind of just have two round oval shapes. So when um, drawing skulls, their nose is pretty much an upside down heart. So it's kind of easy. So we're just gonna make a wide upside down V between his or hers nose. And then we'll round out one side on the left, like we're drawing one part of the heart and you'll do the same thing on the other. And it is completely okay if it is not perfect, remember, because it's a skeleton. And a lot of it's gonna be colored in black anyways, if you choose to color it. All right, so I have my upside down heart shape. Okay, so, um, we're gonna draw the cheekbones. So if you touch right here, you can kind of feel bits and pieces of your cheekbone. You can feel where your jaw connects. If you touch by your ear and open your mouth, you can feel it moving. So that's where we're gonna start with our skull. So about under his eye, I'm gonna give him just kind of like a little curve, a little curve. And then I'm gonna do that same curve on the other side right across because we do want our skull's jaws to be level. All right, so I have a curve on both sides and then I'm gonna go ahead and curve down on both sides. So curve down on both sides. So it's kind of like this long sort of S shape. So for the teeth, we're gonna make um, really simple ones. So generally like a lot of people kind of get nervous drawing. Um, well, I mean, I do. Um, I don't like drawing hands that much. I don't like drawing like teeth, but there's actually a simple way to do it. So right below our skull's nose, we're gonna make two oval circles and we're gonna have them touch. So two oval circles. Those are actually going to be the two front teeth. And then I'm gonna start on my left side. All we're gonna do is make little C shapes. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So coming off the teeth, we're just gonna make little C shapes. So round out the top, you go down, you connect it. That's what we're gonna do the whole entire time until we reach this side. And as we go, um, it's gonna progressively, the teeth are gonna get smaller. 
Because when you smile, see how it looks like my teeth are getting smaller? It's because they're, they're not actually smaller, but they're going farther into my mouth so like people don't have as much view. So that's what we're going to do. So go ahead and draw yours all the way. And then, so, here's mine. So once we have them, then we're gonna go back and kind of round out the tops. Cause like your teeth, see how it like, is like that? That's what we're gonna do on the top. So we're just gonna kind of round them out. So we're gonna exaggerate. So I went back and I kind of rounded out the top. It's okay if it looks scribbly um, because you are you can either color them in black, you can color them in whatever color, you could make them all different colors. So we have it on one side, so we're going to do the exact same thing on the other. So since it is a skull, it is okay if he has more teeth on one side than the other. You don't have to worry about counting unless it absolutely bothers you and you're like Miss Natasha. He has to have the same amount of teeth on both sides, then that is okay. But mine, he didn't really take care of his teeth. He ate too much candy. So he has odds amounts. All right, so then we're just going to round it out like we did on the other side. And then you can go back and erase, but I'm not. So. We have our teeth. Now we can go ahead and go to the top of their head. So from where the jawline is, we're gonna draw a little curve, little curve. Little curve, little curve. So we're gonna go on one side and we're just gonna make a big swooping circle for the top of the skull's head. So I'm gonna start right here. So I'm going to leave an overlap on each side. So, and I'm going to do it lightly first. So you're like, okay, I like that shape. Or maybe you do it and you're like, whoa, why is my skull square? Why does it look like that? You just do it lightly. So I have mine lightly drawn and I like the way it looks. So then I'm going to go over it again a little bit, putting more pressure on the pencil. All right, so this would just be our regular boring skull. So he's missing, um, the eye sockets would be colored in black. Um, you could give him like, let's see, we can give him some cracks. You do something like that but we're gonna make ours slimy so let's go I'm gonna start in the eye socket so mine I'm gonna give him some slime in the eye so to draw slime it's just those wavy lines you don't want to make it pointy because then it would look a little weird um, see how like all of mine are wavy so it looks kind of like drippy so this is your own creation I'm just gonna add mine wherever so I'll give him a little bit more on this eye um, let's see I'll give it to him kind of coming off his head so you guys put yours wherever you want it it can take up a lot of your paper it can take up barely any but I'm just gonna put mine wherever. You can even put it in its nose. They're coming off his nose, so it looks like they have boogers. All right, so my skull, I'll give him some in the middle. Kinda looks like it's coming down. All right, so my skull is now slimified. 
So I would go back in and color in the eye sockets dark if that was me. So I'll show you guys with my pencil because it'll look like really cool. It'll give it like a sense of depth. So I'll show you one colored versus the other one not. So you can see what I mean. And I'll color in his nose too. Okay, so. And then the slime would be a different color. So that's kind of like how it looks colored in. I liked mine colored in dark. Um, let's see. I gave mine my finished product, that graffiti type feel. If you like that, you can just put like dots all over your page, like little dash marks. Um, I kind of made it look like he was like coming out of a wall. I gave him a crown. But there we have it. There is a simple version of a spooky, slimy Halloween skull. Um, not too realistic. So I will continue to do um, holiday themes, how to draw videos. But until then, see you guys next time.